What's going on guys? It's Quizzy Dog here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a part two of how to go ahead and update your PS5 storage with an S70 Gamex NVMe SSD. Now in part one linked within this playlist you were going to actually witness us installing the heat shield. Now if you haven't done it and you're using the actual sheet of aluminum that came with the S70 blade there has been slight rumors of overheating the memory modules on this guy that aluminum needs more cooling than the PS5 can actually allow it. It's mainly made for a PC that actually has a lot of fans inside cooling it as well. So we went ahead we installed this shield and today we're going to go through exactly how to update this drive to make sure that you're getting its full capabilities because out of the box it may simply have old software on it so let's go ahead let's turn this to the pc and let's see exactly how to install it momentarily as well as update the actual drive itself now step one in this process will be actually identifying whether or not your motherboard has an nvme slot in this case, my motherboard, which is the B450 Oros Elite, does. It's actually right underneath the GPU. It's hard to see with this camera angle, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to kill the actual power to the PC itself for the installation of the NVMe. We're going to go ahead, turn everything back on, and then we're going to go through the process of updating this drive. All right, so now we actually have the drive itself installed in the PC. This of course is just temporary. And as well, if you guys don't have an NVMe slot on your motherboard, you can do this at a friend's house, at a family member's house, or maybe even a local computer repair shop would help you. But I think the firmware update is pretty important to maximize the capability of this drive. Now it's as easy as moving you guys over to the PC. Okay, so we have the drive installed on our motherboard and let's go ahead and you're going to want to go into Google. I find this just honestly the easiest way to do it and just simply search for S70 Blade Software Update. The very first link right here is going to take you to the S70 product page and if we scroll down, you're going to have a lot of things in the download, but you can skip right to the very bottom and what you're going to want is right here. So the SSD toolbox software for firmware update. So let's go ahead. We're going to close this browser because I've actually gone ahead and installed that already. So let's take a look in all of our programs. And here we have the ADATA SSD toolbox. And this is going to take just a second to open here. And we're going to dive in and we're going to see exactly how to identify this drive and how you're going to go about doing the actual software update. And again, this update is really going to help you yield all the results you're looking for. Now for me, I have a couple of drives. So I do have a 120 gig SSD. I do have the S11 Pro from XPG. But down here, we see that we have the XPG Gamex S70 Blade. And this guy here right now is brand new. Temperatures are really good. They're actually better than my drive even with the stock heatsink that I have my operating system on. Health is good and lifetime of the remaining health is 100%. Now you have a couple of things here. So you can do a diagnostic scan, you can do a utility. This is going to help you completely erase the drive. It's also going to help you check for firmware upgrades and that's really what we're looking to do. So if we check for update, we can see here that mine actually shipped already with the latest firmware. So this is 3.2.f.p7. Uh, so you have already, you already have the latest firmware version. Now your mileage may vary because your software out of the box might not be up to date. Other than that, in the SSD toolbox, you do have some options here to optimize the drive. This is going to do an auto defrag and different things like that. And then you have your system information. And this is just going on about, let's say, my PC and different things like that. So I couldn't necessarily show you exactly how to update it because mine is up to date. 
but if you download and utilize the SSD toolbox right from the XPG or ADATA website, you will have right here, check for firmware update. And this again, we're gonna run it one more time. We see I already have the latest software version, but this is where you guys are going to go ahead and do your actual update. And that will unlock the full capabilities of this drive as of the time of you doing it. And it might not hurt to periodically check this as well every so often because the PS5 is not going to check for the updates like this software would. But we're gonna cut this off here. Stay tuned for part three as well where we're going to go over together exactly how to install this drive within your PS5. But for now, my name is Crazy Dog. You guys have been awesome and we'll catch you guys in my next one. Take care.